Happy Friday, fellow furniture dorks. This is Teresa at Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. And you know what today is? It is Fab, Fab Furniture, furniture Friday. Friday. So welcome in. We didn't even plan that. And we today are going kind of old school with kind of a standard paint job, today. but with a paint that we have not used yet with you folks. That's right. So we have Wise Owl's one hour enamel today. And we are going to be using uh, this, which is this lovely color. Oh. Gorgeous color. I love this one. Yep. So, um, and then we're going to give it a top coat, uh, a, um, the top of it, that is, in carbon, which is uh, a dark gray, kind of not, not really a black, but a nice gray. So this will be uh, kind of our, our color plan today. Very, very I've cool. got the camera going the other direction today so that we're actually correct facing instead of backwards okay, that makes sense. and now i'm having a hard time judging the camera you'll we're realize we're not lefties we are actually righties. we are righties yes um and yeah these tables are no joke like melissa used them for staging and we've got them in here now to give them a nice fresh job and i, I promise you they are 60 pounds of these. and They're i am so really solid. confident that derek and the guys the rest of the guys are really happy not to have them. I'm thrilled not to have to use them. Uh, yeah. yeah. um, so, so this is actually a two-sided table. Yep, I yep. love these because um, this has a little magazine rack here. And then on the other side, it is storage. Yeah, it's just a door so that opens. So kind of You'll see it as we turn it around yeah. to show you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, and the one hour enamel, let's talk about that for a second because it's yep. a new addition to the store. So it is, um, not, it's my first go around with it as well. It's an enamel yep, yep. paint. It's got a sealant built it in, does, it which does. gives it a tough, tough finish. It yep. uh, means you don't need a top coat, obviously. You can put that on if you choose, but it's not required with this paint. Right, so this is kind of like an American-made version, so it's made in Detroit. Um, it's an American-made version to a Fusion, basically. Right, right. So similar to Fusion, it's actually supposed to have a tougher uh, consistency than fusion. Okay. So we Good shall... consistency too. I mean, as yeah. far as the thickness of the it, thickness it seems about it, yeah. comparable so, to that. So we'll see. Let's see how it looks like we've got somebody on here already. Heather Rodney just visited for the first time last week. So many beautiful things, things, people. Yay! We'll take yeah. it all. Yay! We're just happy to have so many beautiful honey things. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming in. We love to have you all. Yeah. And so we are not prepping this piece. It's really not necessary. And these pieces have already been painted anyway. So. Yeah, they're just kind of dinged up from staging. They were, of course, pre-distressed. Exactly. All um, things are. We love distressed. Yeah, yeah. So they were distressed previously, and then, you know, some extra dings and knots because, well, I own a staging company, now. and these were from staging. Okay. So today, we, we often like to see how well the whites cover over dark colors, and today we're going to see how well a dark covers over the light. Over the light. Nice, and I'm gonna try a little bit of the. You know what? I didn't get quite enough of my water out of my paint or my brush. We are using Klingon brushes today because we love them. They clean themselves. They love to stay in water when not in use. With this paint, you just have to watch and make sure to get them, you know, as wrung out as possible, because um, you don't want to dilute the uh, enamel in this paint. Yeah. So I just want to clarify one thing on the. When we say they clean themselves, yeah, <laughs> please do. Because because we seem to have people think, oh, you just that's it, that you just put them down and they clean themselves. Yeah, no, you do have to rinse them until they run clear. Mm -hmm. And if you, for people who do not properly clean their paint brushes, this may be something that you don't know. But once you rinse your brushes to, with a typical brush. Um, or even the Klingons if you're not storing them in water. When you wash your brush and it's and it's running clear, it probably still has a ton of paint Absolutely. left in it. Um, all paint brushes really take a lot of paint in the brush, okay? Which is one of the reasons why you'll see people who paint a lot will sometimes wrap their brushes in cellophane and then store yep. them in the refrigerator. That's what I do. Or the freezer, because if you wrap it and you keep it moist and then you keep it in a cool place, like the refrigerator or the freezer, yeah. then you do not have to wash them each time. You just sort of let them warm up a little and you're good to go again. Yep, exactly. Um, so if you're using the same colors day in, day out, that's what a lot of people do to avoid having to wash brushes. Yep, exactly. 
you're doing something in the evening, you want to finish it up the next day. But in order to actually get all of the paint out of a brush, typically you run it underwater, maybe even with a little soap and water, until the water runs clear, and then you break out brush soap or dish soap or yeah. something, and then you scrub it until the bubbles are completely white. Yes, so it's done, done. With done, done. So um, a lot of people think, well, if you're washing it till it's clear, then how is it washing itself? No, those are very different. Those are very different things. Yeah, for sure. I feel like we should do a brush cleaning video at some point. That would be awesome. Probably so. Just maybe just do a video of all the little technical things involved in painting, like prep stuff, cleaning. That oh, especially, right. you know, when I accidentally leave them overnight. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Maybe, maybe like that. How to get the crust off your bristles. Yeah, sometimes I'm here painting till like midnight. And yes. Yes, and then I've been in the morning at 8 o'clock. And she's in in the morning at 8 o'clock. And realized, Melissa was here painting until midnight last night. And Melissa did not clean up her stuff. No. So I secretly scold her in my mind, but at the end of the day, she's the boss. She can do what she wants, so I clean it up and we go on about our day. And then, and then I come in and she says, uh, somebody, not naming any names, <laughs> left, left, a, do that, I? <laughs> left a brush out overnight that, didn't get, you know that didn't get washed. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you were painting with Fusion. Mm, by the way, how did that paint project do last night that you were here doing? Oh yeah, Fusion. That ain't no joke. You leave Fusion on a paintbrush and don't soak it in water, the next morning you could like stab somebody with it. Or I know you were doing demos with a customer when you were working for yeah. all by yourself on the 4th of July. And and you you had, you know, the biggest sale that we had so far this year that day. Mm. But she hasn't checked out today's sales yet. But yeah. um, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that too. Uh -huh. But then but then you didn't bother to clean up after yourself when you were done with your day. I think I feel like I forgave you in that. I'm gonna recommend you guys do the back sides of the lace. Because oh yeah, I'm so going to. I just, I'm going to. I'm okay. kind of going around where I can see everything. And then Melissa's got like the. Because I think of on my leg. second coat, I'm going to do the cross hunching like they're doing there, just to give my stuff a little extra. Yeah, so I am doing the cross hatching because I know with this light color underneath that it's going to be a hard coverage. Right. Anytime you go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, light to dark or dark to light. So how are you like, I love the color. Yeah, the color is gorgeous. I'm so used to chalk paint, if I'm being honest. This feels a tiny bit thin, and I think also because I had too much water in my brush. Yeah, it's too looking much water thin. Yeah, I mean, it's, I like how it's going on. I do love the color. We'll see, you know me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh yeah, that's what we want. It's the first time I've used it, so I'm kind of learning along with y'all. But we always know it's never gonna be, I mean, almost nothing is one coat coverage. Yeah, for sure. Oh, a little sweet. I'm doing. But get comfortable. You guys get to see the back of my head, or maybe nothing at all. Where am I? There I am. I know, we're not where we're used to be. Where am I? I know, this is all, we're all discombobulated here. See, by being right, we're being wrong for some reason. I'm confusing myself looking at our, looking at the camera back there. Anyway, it's Friday, it's the weekend. What y'all doing besides coming out shopping tomorrow from 10 to 5? Come on out. We have plenty of things sold today. So you need to get in if you see something online and you like it because stuff is flying out the door. Yes, it is. And we love that. We do love that. Very much. But I can order more furniture. That's okay, too. Yes. Well, we have vendors that are bringing things in. So we have nice original pieces plus some things that Melissa can bring in new. So if you're looking for something, let us know, man. We'll find it. We'll paint it. We'll get Heck it on the yeah. floor. We have very talented vendors that are going to do custom work. If you have a piece, maybe that isn't quite what you like color-wise or finish-wise, but you like the piece itself, let us know. We have some great vendors that are willing to do custom work. And you know, we've had quite a few pieces sold actually that um, were, they loved the piece. They couldn't find the piece that they were looking for anywhere. And I uh, came in and bought the piece and then hired one yes. of our vendors to to come in and paint yeah, Exactly, that's happened a couple times this week. So, you know, it's the perfect piece, but it's the wrong color. We can fix that for you. Absolutely, we can. Um, so, I'm a big Miss Mustard Seed fan, as you know, and I feel like this color compares a lot to Miss Mustard Seed's kitchen scale. 
I think it's very pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think of this color? I think it's a little deeper. It's definitely deeper. Which I like that about it. Right, I'm in my own way. Do I need to go over anything for you? I don't know. I see. got an email. Let's see how I can do this. This morning or last night, I can't recall, that uh, Fusion is releasing their, their own line of uh, milk paint this week. What? They've been talking about it. I didn't know that. Well, that should be interesting. I'm a milk paint connoisseur. And Fusion is made by Homestead House. Right. Well, that's true. Which is made by the same company, which is the same company that makes Miss Mustard Seeds. Do you think that is in any correlation with Marion selling Miss Mustard Seeds? I don't <laughs> think so because, um, it did get sold, and I don't believe it was sold to anybody in Fusion. Oh, okay. The timing was similar, but yeah. no, I don't think so. Hi, Cassie. Hi, my yeah. daughter in law is here to pick up my new room. Phoebe and I went shopping today. What I hear. I can't wait till she's a little bit older. I know it's her fashion sense. <laughs> I was so close. I told her she's gonna say it by accident. One time, please, just one time. Just one time. Just one time. Just one time. Ah, one of these days, girl. Oh yeah, where's your stuff? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's your car in law? Yes. So it's open. It's on the back seat of the driver's side. Two bags. Oh. I can get through all the two bags. Okay,
Only by 10 pounds. They're heavy. They're heavy, yeah. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. yeah it's kind of hard to know what dries completely because it is so glossy even when it's dry. Okay, so notice how streaky we are right here. And uh, watch what happens when I throw that second coat on. For sure, I'll be using the Wise Out Primer. The gray one, because I love that. Yeah, and, yeah. and because I'll probably be using a darker color like this, I'll go with the gray. Um, probably let it dry naturally. Yeah, right. And then I would like also it. let it dry naturally. Yeah. And then I would probably do three coats anyway, just because it does have that built-in top coat. Yeah. And then this is furniture, so it's different. But if I were doing, when I'm when I'm ready to do my kitchen cabinets, I'll probably do three whole coats. And again, that is primarily because um, I want that extra, that extra protection in there. And then I may still do another coat of top coat over that. Okay. Not because it's required, because it's not. Just because I'm not a neat person. We're not a neat and tidy family. And so typically things get spilled and what have you. And people don't wipe up immediately after themselves. So it's kind of like one of those, um, we only clean up like once or twice a week. Once Scrubbing a week, everything. twice a month, something like that. And so that's when everything gets scrubbed down. Right. And so if I'm looking at really needing to scrub, I just want a little bit extra protection. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, this goes on just nice. I like the... Really fast. too. Yeah, yeah. This is not bad at all. Just a little bit. <laughs> and part of the fast is because it does have a nice sort of fluid mm -hmm. uh, about it. Yeah, and this is like out of my wheelhouse painting in this fashion. I'm kind of more of an up and down traditional, but this is, for a second coat, I, I like this. It, it kind of just gives the coverage niceness, and I don't know. I just, I'm digging it. But again, I don't have my glasses on. I'm like, crap, I don't know. Seems like it's already funny. <laughs> Seems like it's okay, though. It's so funny. It's so funny. So how's the movie going? It's lovely. Everything, everything that I have in boxes is are unboxed and I have some things in storage to get out yet, mainly just stuff from a paint studio so I can start painting furniture and selling it again. Any yeah, yeah, yeah. insurance on this one? Yeah, they're, it's slowly coming together. You know me, I can't stand a mess, so boxes in the house, get that crap open and get it done. But Well, and it's funny, every day I come in um, and she's like, uh, I'm buying this for me. 
I've got like a whole stash pile over there. Oh, I can I sell them the dress that you're buying? Yes. Well, actually, it's, I'm, that's, I painted that. You painted this nobody one? Nobody has bought that yet, so I'm taking it home. Yeah. Unless somebody online sees it right now and says, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. There it is. Three fifty, and it's yours to take home. Otherwise, that's How beautiful home that me. is. It is a charmer that one. Because it does go with my decor, but it does. It's gonna go great with those braided boots. I freaking love those chairs. chairs. I feel like that's like a statement piece in the living room. I agree, but they're so high. I mean, they're right height, but for us, they're just out there. <laughs> and when she means by us, she means us little people. Us little short people. <laughs> vertically challenged, like Patrick yelled at me yesterday because I was standing beside them writing something on his paper on the bar. He's like, you have stools. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, we're blocking it. Yeah, and then it's like, um, you know, we, we both, well, you just got a new vehicle, which I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen it It's out there now. It actually is. The first two days I had it, my husband had to come grab it for something, so. It's actually out there now. And it's like we both were driving these big trucks. I know, we're just smidges. <laughs> we're like Napoleon complex. Yeah, I think that's what it feels like sometimes. That's what people probably see us and go, they've got little woman syndrome. Well, that and I'm Italian. Or you have something to ask too. I'm Irish. Uh, yeah, I'm Irish and Italian. Yeah, I'm Irish and German. And I'm full of sex. I'm Irish and German and married to a second generation Italian. Oh my god. Yeah, that's some sass in the bacon right there. There's no volatility in that at all. <laughs> it's like boiling water in the pan. Oh, nice. You guys come in and chomp it out. Look really nice on this. Sure would. That's a good color. Transfer 
transfers redesigned by Prima. We also sell those here in Ray. Everything you're seeing us use is sold here at the store or uh, you most of it's available on the website as well. Which is rayhomecollection.com. Yeah, I'm, um, and I actually, you know, I'm going to be super honest and feel with me. I asked them to pick out the project for today because I was shopping with my granddaughter. And when I saw these on the counter, I'm like, but really they just kind of need cleaned up. They don't really need painting. Um, but I'm going to say that I think that for the style of this table, this color is actually much more appropriate. Yeah, for sure. You know what it did? It judged them up. It judged them up. Where is Stevie when I need her? She's not going to say it. She's not going to say it. She's just going to ignore you. I told her she's going to say it by accident one day and not realize she did or why she said it. And she laughed at me and rolled her eyes. I got to remember how to spell it and then I'm just going to hit her TikTok with you. Zhuzh it. it up, girl. You need to make a TikTok video. Zhuzh it up. Um, I have to make it. Maybe if we make a TikTok video with a t big TikTok dance to go with it. Maybe hey, she'll do it. it. Maybe you should just have her create that. That could be like her whole. No, she won't. Really? She won't. She'd be good. She's, it's not that she wouldn't be good. I'm not going to. She's just not going to want to do it. I mean, she's my granddaughter, Dad. Yeah, she's just too precious for words. She just, you know, she's that age. She's not her thing. She's just that age, you know. Well, I do know. I'm right. just going to say, shopping with a ten-year-old. <laughs> All right, I am going to start on the tops. Oh, and I'm going to start painting the top of this table too, as I spill it all oh, over the place. Nice. Hey, now. Hey, no. I'm going to move these. No, oh, okay, sorry. No, 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 you're good. Where's that? What's going on? Put them here. I'll grab them. All right. Thank you, Miss Sue. Right. Now, what's quite interesting because. What are you saying? Oh, it's mixing up now. Okay. I was gonna say that doesn't look gray. It doesn't. It didn't look gray. It did not look gray. It looked very brown. Literally, it opened like khaki. Yeah, for sure. And that's very interesting. Quite interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, I, feel I feel better now. Yeah, good thing for a stir stick. These colors, I think, are gonna complement each other very nicely. I'm gonna feel a little jaguar dust. Uh, well, I didn't until you said that. Yeah. And it's, really it's, it's really terrible because I really do like these colors together in general. Mm -hmm. um, but I do always feel a little bit of Jaguars. On the flip side, in this market, sometimes yeah. that's a bonus because yeah, there I mean, are a lot of Jags fans. Right? Exactly. I mean, I'm a Steeler fan personally. I'm from the North, but I have nothing against the Jaguars. I, I know they may need a little bit of help, but I'm all for local. So okay. we're going we're gonna to work on this. It's Jaguars. What is it? Jag Jaguar. Jaguar? Jaguar. Yeah. Gotcha. The and Jag. it's Stollers. Let's say the Jag. It's Keep it Stollers. Simple. That's how we say the Stollers. Jaguars. So like it's bougie. It's bougie. Okay. That I got. It's Jaguar. Jaguar. I feel like I should lift my pinky when I say that. What's your tweet name? Jaguar. Jaguar. Jag. 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 Alright. I forgot to hit the back of that leg a second time. Okay. Just this side. Yep. Well, I didn't hit this side of the leg yet, so. Okay. That's probably why. Alright. Keeping you honest over here, lady. Well, I don't think it would be dishonest if I missed it. Yeah, it would be. I mean, it could have been an error, but. Could probably get the bottom of this. So I haven't gotten it there. I'm still working on things. Nobody's going to see under here. I can see under there. It's a waste of It's not normally going to be sitting on a table when people are in using the table. You don't know how people the use their furniture. Can you stage things six feet up in the air? Yes, it will. Okay, well, in the store it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes things look prettier when it's up high like that, because you do such a nice job staging things. Oh, it's like I don't know how to do that. It's like you do it for a living or some crap. All right. No. It's Friday, people. I can't even walk and chew gum today at the same time. Can you walk or chew gum? Um, I can do one or the other. Don't ask me to do both. Can't do it. I think I'm sore from doing a sneak cheek peek up into my van every time I get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, it's like, oh, exercise. Developing new muscles. I'm, well, I'm on one side. 
All right, developing new muscle. <laughs> muscle, right. <laughs> what are you guys thinking so far? I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera, but the colors really do seem to complement each other nicely. Yeah. This one's going to be a lot easier to paint. Gray over gray. Gray. the black. Right? <laughs> Too, just because it's in the sides, especially it's a little needed. Well, and we're changing colors, so it's in the air. <laughs> it is easy. I'm just <laughs> winging it. Oh, uh, here I've got one. You don't like my little sticks? Well, it doesn't really reach the bottom. Uh, I this, uh, see this color right here? That's how it was opened, and that's how it looked. Yeah, and so she and it's gray now. It had to get that mixed. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, it's a little freaky. Oh wow, that is way different, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can see her puddle down here. I see it. It's very yeah. brown. Yeah, you know, I just started painting. I just had to test it out. It works. And again, I can't see what the what I'm doing, but right. All right. So I, I, know, I, I didn't shake stuff. that can. I'm covering stuff, so. There's a crosshatch method and there's a wing it method. You know, with this consistency, I bet blending is really easy. You bet what blending? Blending. I was waiting for you to say that. Because it is. It's, I don't know, is it just me or is this particular color seem a little better? Maybe. Uh, I think it might have to do with um, the, the, the way it's separated. Okay, so I don't think we maybe had it mixed up as well as we needed to. I gotcha. That would make sense. We have a lot of folks watching. Any other comments or questions? It's quiet out there today. Wake up, kiddos. Everybody's like working at home and just have us on in the background. Or back at work. Oh my gosh, those poor people. They just have our sound as background. Oh, sorry. <laughs> annoying. Well, I'm annoying. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but then we can feel less bad when we just get them back to our heads. That is true. 100%. Alright, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have this whole thing painted well, except a little yes, circle at the top that I couldn't reach. Way in the middle. Way in the middle. Or we're going to go Should I put this on a little blue table? I know, I didn't think about it, but I'll oh, tell you what. That little blue once table might be on its last legs if you try to put this thing on there. Oh. Once it got up here. Yeah. Uh, I, I had jerked in a couple places, so I just want to do a little. Yeah, I probably will touch up. Okay, Miss Sue. Yeah. Can you get that little spot right there? Be 
ladies and gentlemen. It's so pretty. opinion about this it would be that I really like the coverage two coats was really good if you weren't going over white like when I do this in my house I'll be going over um, like a, uh, I guess it's probably maple but it doesn't feel like maple it feels more like a cherry but it's not quite as red as a cherry but it's pretty red like that um, not a fan. I guess the person who updated the house that we bought, because we bought a fixer upper, it was he was he was a real, you know, do it yourself kind of guy. He was a handyman. He was a handyman. Handyman. Um you know, there's like multiple kinds of flooring throughout my house and yeah. nothing is done quite right exactly. You gotta tear apart some of that trim work in the bathroom though. Yeah, it's some serious problems are happening in there. Um, but anyway, I digress. I think it would be great to use this on the kitchen. I would recommend you actually allow it to dry on its own versus using a heat gun. Um, I'm having a real hard time telling what's dry and what's wet with the heat gun as I'm drying it. So I have held it in a couple of spaces, in a couple of places, a little too long. I'm having a little bubbling. I can show you that. It's nothing I can't fix by sanding it a little bit. And we're gonna distress anyway, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. But I have definitely scorched it in a couple of places. Tell me now. It happens. Yeah. Um, and gets this hot. <laughs> Very I can show mine too. Oh yeah, you should show yours on. Oh, so camera. yours is a doozy. Um, it's looking dirty. Yeah, it's gonna look like, like she was branded more is more what it's gonna exactly. look like. That's exactly what it looks like. Um, but overall, I think when it dries and we distress it, and I think I'm going to actually let it dry before we distress it. Yeah. Um, just because I think it's going to get gunky. Um, and really, it's meant to dry in an hour. It's not meant to dry in five minutes with the heat gun. Yeah, for sure. So in that sense, if you're in a hurry and you want to use the heat gun, I would probably tell you to use truck paint. I would agree. Yeah. Or even fusion is better with the heat gun. Yeah. Yeah. But I can see where this does feel like it might have a little more top coat in it. Yeah, it, it, I think that's where that sheen maybe comes in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so too. So I think it's got kind of a satin base. Now, if you don't like the satin look, you could use a matte finish over that. Yep. Like I said on my cabinets, I probably will put a matte finish over them anyway. And if you've heard me talk, you know I will probably be using flat out flat. Right. That's my favorite because I love flat out flat by general finishes. Um, finish. awesome. Yeah, it feels like wax, it's got a very matte finish. It's my preferred, so I will probably um, prime, clean it really well. Um, use Dixie Bell's Lightning, that's what it's called, right? The Lightning, yep. The Lightning, white use, Lightning, Is it white use, lightning? yeah, white Lightning. Use Dixie Bell's White Lightning to wash it all down. Really well. Get all that grease off of there. Cook it. Yep. Cook it. Prime it oh, with. Yeah. Are the worst. Prime it with Wise Owl. Two coats of the gray. Three coats of my of the paint, and then I will probably do two coats of flat out flat because I like that matte wax look without it being waxy. And you are planning to video this? Hopefully? I will video it. Yes. Nice we are currently thing. working on Sue's bathroom. Yeah, we'll oh, the floor. Yeah, the floors. on the floors. Oh, I can't wait to see that. So I just haven't had any time off since yeah. we started. So we primed it, got the prime. Um, we've done two coats of prime on the floors, but now we get to do the patina next. Um, it's going to look great. So um, that's where we're at this. I think with these, um, I know we're going to leave early on this, but we'll come back. And what we'll do is we'll video the distress and all um edit down and i'll put it on youtube so you can see the whole process yep. from start to finish and how they end up coming out yep. and if they're shiny i probably will do a matte top coat because 
We just don't care for shine. I, we don't really. care for shine. And shine doesn't really sell here either. Yeah. So we'll probably will do matte and you'll kind of get the whole idea. But I think that I really do love this color. It's a beautiful color. I agree. We will for sure use it again, but I do think maybe it's not the best for a lot. Right. Well, you know, and like we said, it's something we haven't used for y'all before. It was my first time using it in general. Oh, so yeah, not a complaint at all. Kind of using oh, it yeah, together, but she's right. It would probably be a paint that we need to kind of use the way it was intended, at least. Yeah, and like I bet this. this would be great on any furniture that, like, sits on a porch. Oh, for sure. It's oh, definitely yeah. going to have some good water repel. Yeah, I can tell. Sure. It's going to have some good water repel. And these are great, a great set of tables, too. So you'll see these for sale very soon. Yeah, you will. So um, we'll wrap them up and hopefully get them done today so that we can get them on the floor for tomorrow. All right, folks. Thank you for joining us on our Fab Furniture Friday. Tune in uh, Monday, Monday for our Makeover Monday. Yeah, yeah. That should be fun. And we, as usual, appreciate your support so much. You have no idea what it means. It's, it's amazing. You guys have been wonderful. So thank you for everything. It really is. And so thank you again. We'll talk to you Monday. Um, until then, we do have a new YouTube video out. So be sure to check out youtube.com forward slash Rave Home Staging. Yep, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, See guys. You Peace out.